Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV and Marine in Liberty, Texas, just outside of Houston. And today I've got a pretty awesome coach for you guys, 2002 Safari Zanzibar. It's uh, about 35 feet long, so that's pretty short for a, uh, a diesel pusher. And uh, it's got the double slide out up at the front cap here. You, got, you can see the, uh, it's got an O-Man 7500 quiet diesel generator. And it's on that slide out tray, which makes uh, servicing it so much easier. Uh, it's a real sharp looking coach and you really don't see them built with this type of quality anymore. I mean you got the aluminum, all the uh, storage doors are aluminum, so, same as the side walls. Um, you got that nice uh, big patio awning up there. And uh, you do have some of the windows have the uh, window seals uh, creeping on them, but they're not fogged up in any way. Uh, but they, they do have some window seals creeping, which is like, pretty common to, to see in a coach of this age. Um, you got a huge amount of storage here, and it's got the uh, dining table extensions in there. And you see, it came and goes behind that over there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we have the uh, the the stick uh, to pull down the window awnings that are on it. And uh, it's got the Cat uh, diesel motor. It's a 330 horsepower. Uh, they stuck some of this. These little bump stops on the door, I don't know why, but they, I mean, because it has another one there from, but I don't know why they put that there. And, uh, and here, you've got a 110 outlet here, a little light that pulls out, um, which is, just makes it handy, I guess. I think you got another one here, too, so, interesting. Uh, you got nice, uh, Goodyear tires on this. They don't show any signs of dry rot or weathering. They, I'm pretty sure they're, they're really new, because they still got these, uh, these little, uh, what's it called on them? You got the nice alloy wheels. You've got your battery stored in here. And then this is pretty, pretty neat. You don't see this all, every day. You got your uh, filters here, easy to service. You can start and stop the engine. You can see your oil pressure, water temperature. It's got another, uh, that's your transmission fluid. That's to put towels to wipe your hands clean after you check your oil, which you do from here, motor and transmission which is really neat and convenient and uh, again there's a look at your window awnings over here towards the the, the back you've got a nice uh, uh, what do they call it, mural or something a backup camper in there, tow package down below again it's on the, uh, the 330 horsepower and over on this side you can see we got the double slide out you've got uh, your 50 amp power supply stored in there and uh, here's your I believe your water connections and stuff let's see yeah you've got your dump station here outside shower and then you've got more storage here here's a look at the living room slide out and uh, you've got a little bit of damage there that uh, I mean it's all all normal wear and tear for a used coach I mean it's no, nothing major. Uh, again, I told you you got a few uh, window seals creeping. Let's go ahead and make our way to the inside. Overall, though, the exterior, in my opinion, is a nice, nice clean coach. Uh, so, as we make our way to the inside, of course, you got the uh, power, power steps. You got a nice uh, L-shaped kitchen here. Deep double uh, sinks, countertop extension. Of course, you got a three burner gas range, convection microwave. You have really nice cabinets on this rig. All nice, uh, solid wood, not the cheap stuff. Uh, this part of it, from what I've seen other ones posted for sale, this is the only one that has this. I think they added it, and if they did add it, I don't know how they did. I mean, they did it really well. I mean, as far as matching the color, however, it does look. A little crooked when it's out, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure they added that because I, I didn't see any other ones online with that uh, extra cabinet there. Um, up at the driver's uh, area, you have beautiful captain's chair in excellent shape. I mean, excellent shape. No tears. No, I mean, the color's perfect on it. Um, it's only got, let's see what it was for miles. It's uh, 36,000 miles on it. You've got the Allison transmission. You've got your hydraulic leveling switch there. You can start and stop your generator from up here, of course. The uh, dash looks great. Same with the uh, 
uh, passenger uh, captain's chair here too. Fantastic shape. You've got an awesome RCA TV from a million years ago. I mean, you definitely don't want to change that to a flat screen. <laughs> and um, you got a nice recliner, which is in great shape too. However, the only flaw right here is the sofa. I don't believe it's the original sofa. I think they replaced it, but you know, as you can see, it needs to be redone uh, or re just, you know, throw it out and get a whole other sofa. No big deal. You've got a nice uh, dining table here. Now, I love the fact that it's got these big windows here. We do have the, uh, the owner's manuals and books on it. Beautiful overhead storage here. And uh, you've got the, it's got an inverter on it. I forgot to show you that outside, but you got an inverter on it. The generator's only got 610 hours, which is nothing. You got a beautiful uh, two door fridge with an ice maker, I think that is. Yeah, it looks like an ice maker. Yeah, that is an ice maker. Um, Now let's go make our way throughout the rest of the coach. I love the fact that they how they did this here. You've got nice, nice cabinets on your way through the hallway here. Here's a look at the bedroom. You've got a queen size bed, beautiful uh, mirrored wardrobe. It's got a washer dryer combo in there. Nice overhead cabinets. Again, another TV from the dinosaur ages. But hey, um, easy to upgrade and change that out. Nice cabinets down below. I really like that. They added oh, I forgot to mention. So you've got beautiful wood floors in the kitchen the hallway area and then I think this part here was originally carpet and they added this uh, linoleum stuff down which uh, looks pretty good overall and then they did the same thing in the uh, in the bedroom here as you can see and so they did it and then they right here they still got the carpet and they just put the linoleum over it which is strange but um, you can obviously pe peel it off and just leave the carpet um, you got nice uh, wardrobe closet here. You've got the uh, looks like the weight and stuff from from Monaco because safaris are built by Monaco. Here's a look at the washer dryer since we're right here. It's in great shape. Looks brand new, pretty much. I doubt people. I mean, always ask for them, but I don't know very many people that actually use them. You got a pocket door here for separating the bedroom. Now, my favorite thing of this coach is the bathroom and shower area. I mean, look at the size of this shower. It's huge. It's got a beautiful glass shower enclosure. You got a, a tub here. And it's just a really big, really big shower. I mean, you're gonna, you don't see many 35 foot coaches with such a huge shower. You've got a nice, um, solid surface countertops, of course, in the, the bathroom. Beautiful sink, a lot of nice cabinets. Um, an awesome overhead storage here. You got a porcelain sink as well. I mean, the bathroom is really ni nicely done. Even more cabinets and storage here. And uh, if you have questions on this rig, feel free to give me a call. 936-253. My name is John. The headliner looks fantastic. It doesn't show any signs of water leaks or staining. Of course, uh, these uh, roofs on these safaris and zabars, they're... They're aluminum roof, I believe, with uh, fiberglass insulated storage. Uh, insulation, I mean. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, do your research on this, Coach, as you really don't find find motorhomes built to this uh, standard anymore. So, uh, give me a call with your questions, 936-253-8130. And thanks for watching this video.